Hey friends, and here is a wasp for you to, to hopefully start off your day. All right, and um, I'm, I think you're probably really curious. Why is there a wasp in the bottle? Did you not release the last one? And the answer to that is yes, I did release the last one. So this is a new wasp that actually flew into our house three days ago on Tuesday. And we have kept it as a pet, so I thought I should show you guys how it is doing. Okay, so right now it's doing that weird thing where it's cleaning its legs. I know the, the bottle is filthy, you can't see it too clearly, but yeah, I still think it's pretty. And then there's a blob of honey on the top, so there's a hole in the bottle. I put a drip, a drop of honey on the, oh my, on the top, not on the blob. Okay, I put a drop of honey on the top, and then yeah, I can get to the honey from the other side. But there's still a pile of honey on there, so I have to be careful not to touch it. All right, is it gonna snack on the honey? Oh, oh no! Wait, 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 what? Yeah, it's a little anxious, all right. It is a great black wasp, as I have previously mentioned before in my last wasp video. Um, it keeps trying to fly. I don't know why, it, it probably wants freedom. But okay, so I have this crazy theory that it is the same wasp in my last wasp video. Um, why? Okay, so first thing I Googled it, if you can keep a wasp as a pet, and the answer is yes. It said that wasps are intelligent enough to recognize faces and to tell what people or which person is its, is its keeper. Um, and it also can associate fingers with food. So it will not sting you. I don't know exactly how that helps, but I think it's just a really fun fact that I got to learn because this thing flew into my house. All right, and then we're pretty sure it is a male because I think all worker bees are male. Are but are all worker wasps male? I'm not sure. I think it's a male anyway. I'm, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna name it Hunter. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah. And as you can see, it looks really pretty from here. Whoops, how can I get a good, yeah, there you go. Like the bottle is really filthy for you guys, but here I can like clearly see the wasp. And then uh, I just love the metal like gleam that it has. Okay. So today, we're also having another guest. So that is a spider that we imprisoned in this little ball thing. And I'm gonna name it Lu Lucas because it kind of looks like um, Lucas the spider in the really popular animated short series. And here you go. And that is the spider right here. It's it's trying to climb, yeah. I think it really looks like Lucas and Lucas the spider. And as you might have noticed already, it only has six arms. Um, there's only two arms, sadly, on its right side because they broke off during something. I don't know. I don't know how he lost his two arms, but. Um, I think it, it actually really looks like Lucas the spider, so I'm gonna name him Lucas. All right, and then the bowl is still filled with dried oatmeal smoothie thingies. So yeah, it it doesn't hurt the spider. It hurts no one probably. So here's the most intriguing part. All right. And whoops, you can't see it too well. Can you? 
So right on this splotch here, there is a web shaped like a dome. So like every night, Lucas will crawl under the dome to sleep. I think the really impressive part is that um, the spider can actually tell what is day and night. All right, let's return to the wasp issue. So as I said before, I think it might be the same wasp and here the second reason. So um, I've heard that bees can find their home no matter where they are. So I don't know if wasps can do the same thing, but I'm hoping so. Like, what if it's the same wasp and it just kept going, coming back because it, it wanted honey. But yeah, if it has the ability to um, actually like know where our apartment is, it very well could be the same wasp. All right, and the second thing is that I think I have another theory, all right? So what if it came back, it went back to its nest and then the other wasps were like, you have the scent of humans and plastic and everything, artificial. Um, we do not want you. You are not one of our worker, worker wasps. Is that even a thing, worker wasps? Anyway, and it's like, oh no, my family, my family doesn't, want, doesn't want me. And it keeps coming back to our apartment for, uh, to stay, I guess. And it has food, it has water, it has a little space. So I'm keeping it at the pet for like a few more days before we'll release it. We'll see it if it comes back, all right? And that is all for this video. I have introduced two new insect or just critter friends. And you had to watch me name them with some hopefully names that you're, you think are funny or crazy or wacky. All right, so that will be all for this video and I'll see you next time.